Today I'm going to show you my favorite stretchy bind off. This is the bind off that I use for toe up sock cuffs, sweater hems, and sweater sleeves. I'm using magic loop right now, which is how I like to do toe up socks, but you can use this bind off method um, with double pointed needles um, in the round without magic loop or even just flat. And you can see that I have a two by two rib here. Um, but it'll also work in um, a one by one rib or any other kind of rib. So to start this bind off, you're just going to work the first two stitches as they are. So I'm going to knit these two stitches. And now instead of passing this stitch over like I would for a normal bind off, I'm going to knit these two stitches together like that. And then I'm going to, the next stitch is a purl stitch, so I'm gonna purl the next stitch. And then I'm gonna purl these two stitches together. Purl the next stitch. Purl these two together. Okay, now we're back to knit stitches. I'm going to knit the next stitch, knit these two together, knit the next stitch, knit these two together. And you're just going to repeat that all the way around. So now once you've worked your way all around, you finish these last few stitches. Oops, don't lose that stitch. And you knit those last two together and then you finish it like any other bind off. So I'm going to snip the end. And when I'm knitting in the round, what I like to do is actually take a darning needle and take that loop, thread that through my needle. and thread it through the first stitch that I bound off to close that gap and then draw the tail through. And there you have it. It's not the stretchiest bind off in existence. Um, there are definitely stretchier bind offs, but um, this one's my favorite because it's just very neat um, and it's very easy to do.